All right, folks, welcome back. Having problems keeping those pounds off your hips? Yeah. Also, your gut getting bigger than you'd like? What if you could keep that weight off uh, without exercise, but with your mind? Is that possible? I think it is. Dr. Tom Kester, uh, Kestering is here, and he's the author of Losing Weight When Diets Fail, and he joins us here in the studio to tell us about losing weight. Now, I work out all the time, I have to be very honest, and, and yet I'm still kind of at a plateau where I don't drop the pounds. You're telling me that if I use my mind, mm -hmm. I can control that and actually lose. Well, one of the things, like, if, with, with people who exercise, okay, if you actually can project an image of how you want to look down the road, I have many people I deal with that'll say, you know, I exercise uh, all the time, I eat well, but I still can't lose weight. And that's because they're actually saying to themselves, you know what, no matter what I do, I can't lose weight. Because I've tried everything else already, all the diets, and this is what continues to happen yeah. to me. So in Losing Weight When Diets Fail, the book, people are going to learn how to use their mind to project images of what they want and develop the confidence and the motivation and the self-esteem to do so. Okay, so Dr. Kirsting, how do you do that? How do you, ju do you just sit around and, and think about being slim? How does it work? Well, it's interesting. Um, Basically, th there are techniques that if every person knew how to relax, okay, create what's called a relaxation response. That's a, an important part of losing weight when diets fail, the power programming method. Whenever you get relaxed, your mind becomes settled, your subconscious mind becomes open and, and, and available, and when you begin to use visualization and imagery, okay, what you visualize will materialize. That's okay. the bottom line. When that's done at a subconscious level, it's just amazing how cravings and compulsions and all that stuff disappear. So if I like think that. it, I can be it. Absolutely. And then you have uh, use the power of affirmation. Right. In affirmation, you know, it is stated that a, an affirmative thought is hundreds of times more powerful than a negative thought. And when people read Losing Weight When Diets Fail, they're going to begin to use self-talk along the lines of, I exercise and I'm going to lose all the weight I want. Right. I am going to lose weight no matter what I do if I I'm going to be in such in control of my eating habits and I'm going to lose weight I will do this I will do that not I won't or I can't those are the things that sabotage it. and that and, should be our motivation and there are a lot of people out there I think you're onto something dr. Kirsting uh, this is uh, powerful stuff the name of the book is losing weight when diets fail uh, available everywhere available at all major bookstores barnesandnoble.com uh, amazon.com also my website losing weight when diets fail.com free newsletter. Well, I'm going to run to the bookstore and get it because I'll be aff affirming that I'm already losing. Thank you so much, Dr. Tom. Thanks Christian. for having me. Much All right. Coming up, we've got a lot more to talk to you about. Where does the immigration bill stand right now? We will get a live report from Washington. And President Bush meets with Pope Benedict.